Hey folks, and in this COPS quick tip, we're gonna look at how we can get the most out of our viewport display settings and how we can look at multiple displays at the same time. This is a remix tip from the longer series that I ran. I'll put a link to that series in the description. Let's dive in. The default behavior in COPS is to select a node and then move the display flag, much like in SOPS. I would suggest that you could select a node and hit R and that will move the display flag anyway, but you can also change it up here. So you can have uh, image and handles follow display, image follows display, but the handles follow the selected node. So at the moment I'm looking at this node over here, but if I select this one, it shows, it shows the controls for this one here and it will show the handle for the selected node in the viewport. Uh, so for example, if I select the blur here, it shows the handle for the blur. Now the other option is this one here, which means that if you just click on a node, it will ignore the display flag and it will show the output of that node. So here I'm just looking at this node. Now the display flag is still down here, but I'm just looking at this node. And if I select this one, it shows me this node. Okay, and that shows me just the height field coming in. So we need to pay a little attention to which one of these we choose. I'm actually gonna leave it on the default behavior just so you can uh, very clearly see which node I'm looking at. Though you might find uh, the final behavior to be a little faster when you're jumping around in rather large composites. Okay, we can view multiple uh, images at the same time. So if we want to see um, like a before and after, we can view them at the same time here. And you've got various different controls for how the viewports are linked. You see, you can link the viewports so that they zoom in and out at the same time. Now that can be quite handy when you're doing smaller changes later on and you want to uh, see the updates further down the chain. I hope you found this quick tip useful. And as always, I will see you in the next video.